Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, I am going to talk about Mirde's string experiment. Mirde's string experimental setup is used to determine the frequency of an electrically maintained tuning fork. The mode of vibration selected for the frequency of tuning fork calculation is transverse mode. The frequency of tuning fork is measured using the expression given right here that is f is equal to square root of g over 4 mu times m over l square where g equals 9.8 meter per second square. m equals m prime plus m naught. Here m prime is weight in the scale pan and m naught is mass of scale pan. This is length l which represents length of one loop. Also we have mu. Mu is known as linear density. It is the ratio of mass of the string to the length of the string. In this example, the mass of the string used is 350 mg and the length is 3 meter. Thus the mu value is 1.17 times 10 to the power negative 4 kg per meter. In this slide, I have given the Amrita virtual lab link for Mirde's string experiment. Let us get started doing our experiment. Here we are going to see the determination of frequency of tuning fork with Mirde's string experiment. The frequency of the tuning fork can be determined in either in longitudinal mode or in transverse mode. Let me select transverse mode. In this section, I selected the tuning fork 1 and the environment as earth here. The mass added to the pan can be varied from 10 grams to 30 grams. I set our initial mass added to the pan as 10 grams. Now the transformer voltage is set to 8 volts. We have this slider for meter scale adjustment, that is for adjusting the scale position and it is used for measuring length of the loops formed. Let us turn on the power supply. And the tuning fork is set into vibration. It vibrates perpendicular to the length of the string. Thus with the initial mass 10 grams, the transverse stationary waves are set up in the string. And three well-defined loops has been formed. The point where it shows node displacement is called nodes. And the point where it shows maximum amplitude is called antinodes. Now let us measure the length of the three loops. For that I aligned pointer at the first node and noted down the scale position. It is 1.16. Next I aligned the pointer at the last node end. Here the reading is 1.88. Enter reading in the table. 1.88 minus 1.16 gives 0.72. This is length of 3 loops. Next, let us change the mass to 15 gram. And, the number of loops formed are 2. And align the pointer at these left and right nodes. And note down the reading. Left node reading is 1.30 and the right side reading is 1.88. Enter the readings in the table. 1.88 minus 1.30 equals 0.58. Now the mass is 20 grams. And the number of well defined loops formed are again 2. And align the pointer at these left and right nodes. And note down the reading. Left node reading is 1.07 and
and the right side reading is 1.72. Enter the readings in the table. 1.72 minus 1.07 is equal to 0 0.65. Let us continue the experiment with the mass 25 grams. And now you see two well-defined loops along the length of the string. And note down the left and right nodes reading. Now. Slightly I am going to adjust the scale position. Left node reading is 0 0.8 and The right side reading is 1.52. Enter the readings in the table. 1.52 minus 0.8 is equal to 0.72. The last one, let me select the mass as 30 grams. And this time we have only one well defined loop along the length of the string. Let us note down the reading by slightly adjusting the scale position. Left node reading is 0 0.85. And the right side reading is 1.26. Enter the readings in the table. 1.26 minus 0.85 is equal to 0.41. Let us complete our calculation. Calculations has been performed and the frequency of the tuning fork is calculated as 61.8 Hz. I hope this video is more helpful to you all. If you have any questions let me know. Thanks for watching.